Hello everyone. In this video, we will be covering how to create a user-defined connection between a truss bottom cord and a reinforced concrete column. Firstly, let's zoom the point where we want to make the connection. Here, we have to add the cutting object where the truss verticals and the bottom cord collide. There are four different cutting objects in protosteel. These have various features in themselves. Here, we see three cutting object commands and one two-dimensional fitting macro. Let's create the cut object where the truss vertical and truss bottom cord connection point. After running the command, we first select the object to be cut, then, we should select three points on the plane to be cut. While choosing a point on the plane, if there are no points to be snapped, we can pick a point on the axis by holding the control key. Let's undo this process. At the same time, while adding cutting objects, we can use a two-dimensional view to operate more efficiently because it is faster to select the intersection points. After running the command, pick the vertical member to be cut and pick three points on the cutting plane. Let's go back to the 3D view. This light blue object you see is the cutting object. Cutting objects do not affect the drawings, they are only auxiliary objects that facilitate modeling. We can turn off the visibility of these objects using the visibility buttons on the left. Let's place a plate where the bottom cord sits on the column. To create a plate, we use the plate command in the toolbar. After running the command, we need to pick at least three points to build a plate plane. We will create a plate exactly above the column. To do this, choose the corner points of the column. The center point of the plate passes through the plane points of our choice, so we can move the plate up or down. When you double-click on the plate, a properties window will be launched. Using the position tab, we can change the plate's position to middle, behind, or front. We can also do this by hitting the Ctrl plus W keys on the keyboard. We can also change the thickness of the plate as well as the material quality on this window. Now, let's create a cutting object where the plate hits the reinforced concrete column. We can create a view with two points for the cutting process or work with the view we created earlier by double-clicking on it. Here, we will cut the reinforced concrete column. We can perform the cutting operation on plates, steel profiles, or reinforced concrete members. Again, run the 2D fitting macro command, select the reinforced concrete column, and then three points on the plane we want to cut. Recheck the 3D view to see that reinforced concrete column no longer hits the plate. Now, let's shrink the edges of the plate by 20 millimeters. Before doing this, let's switch the coordinate system of the working plane to the local coordinate system. It will enable us to run the commands in local coordinates and operate more efficiently. For this purpose, right-click and choose the set work plane by three points command. Since we want to move the working plane on the plate, we should select three points on the plate. Now, let's pick the plate corner points. While picking the plate corners, hold down the Alt key on the keyboard. The selected corner will be highlighted in red. If you want to select more than one corner, hold down the Control key together with the Alt key on the keyboard. Then, right-click and run the Move Special and Linear commands. Let's move the corner points in the Y direction by 20 millimeters. Similarly, let's select the opposite corners, move them by minus 20 millimeters, and do the same in the X direction. Now, let's complete the welding process where we created the cutting objects. There are two different weld commands in protosteel, namely, the create weld and the create fixed weld commands. 
The create weld command creates a weld along a specific edge. Let's do an example. First, we select the edge and then the member to be welded. Corner weld is created in magenta color. Double click on the weld to launch the weld properties window. We can select the weld type, weld thickness, and operation location on this window. For example, let's apply welding all around here. Click the Set as Default and OK buttons. The weld will be automatically applied around the box profile. Similarly, we can create the weld between the bottom cord and the plate. After selecting the welding command, choose the edge to be welded and the welded member. Let's run the other weld command for the opposite side. After running the command, select the bottom cord and plate. Then, we should specify the weld distance. Let's choose one point as a starting point of the weld, then hold down the Enter key and write DX50 in the input field. That means welding will be created in the X direction according to the current coordinate system. To end the process, click the middle mouse button once. After running the create fixed weld command, let's select two members to be welded. We can set the start and end point by holding down the control key. We can create a weld by selecting two points. Let's create the anchor holes on a plate. We can create the anchor holes by selecting the Create Bolt Group command on the top menu. Let's choose the member on which we want to create a hole. If there is a second element that we can choose, we must also select those elements while creating the holes. After selecting the plate, right-click, and the mouse cursor will become a plus sign. That means we should choose a starting point. Choose a point in the X direction. After creating the bolts in this way, let's double-click on them to adjust the bolt properties. We need to specify the bolt hole diameter and the bolt tolerance that we want to use. We can set a 3mm anchor bolt tolerance for a 20mm bolt. Therefore, the hole on the plate will be drawn as 23mm. Now, let's move on to the Positions tab. Here, let's specify the bolt distances in the X and Y directions. Let's set 80 mm from the initial point and 3 times 100 mm spacing in the X direction. Also, let's define 80 and 300 mm in the Y direction. Then click on the Apply button. Let's switch to the Settings 1 tab and select a hole as a type. Then, close the window by clicking the OK button. Now, let's place the anchors in these anchor holes. Anchor bolt members are included in Protosteel as a macro. After running the anchor bolt command, we can put the anchor bolts one by one or right-click and select the plate to place anchor bolts in all holes on the plate. Let's switch back to linear mode with Alt plus D keys. Let's choose the anchor bolts and hold down the M plus Enter keys on the keyboard to open the anchor bolt property window. Since we made multiple selections in this window, the numbers of the anchors can also be seen. Let's change the anchor type selection to simple. From the Geometry tab, we can set the properties that can be applied for these anchors. Let's specify the anchor depth as 400 mm and anchor diameter as M20. We can also set the material quality to 8.8. .8. All other settings can be made from this section. Let's close the window. We can switch to solid display mode again with Alt plus D keys. In this way, we have completed the connection detail. If you wish, you can create a stronger connection by adding stiffeners to this connection. Now let's turn this connection into a user-defined macro. To save this connection as a manual macro, we should remove the anchor rods because the anchor rods are a different automated macro type. Let's turn on the visibility of the cut objects again. 
When creating a manual macro, all the objects that make the connection should be visible. Now, select all the members and run the manual macro command. Give it a name. Let's choose the connection type as on object. Then, click on the Retrieve as Created Members button and select Main Members buttons, respectively. As the main members, select the column first. Then, choose a point. We can easily pick the connection point by switching to wireframe display mode with the Alt plus D keys. Then, the manual macro window will be automatically relaunched. By selecting the Assign Members command, we can assign the members to the connection. Let's create the same connection at another joint in the model. Run the manual macro command and select the name of the connection we created before. Click the Create Connection button. Then, select the reinforced concrete column first and the point on it to insert the same connection. Similarly, let's create connections at other points. Let's turn off the visibility of the cutting objects and select the anchor bolt macro again. Right-click and select the plate. Since we saved the anchor settings as default, the last settings are automatically considered. You can finalize this process by choosing the other plates for anchor placement. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notified of new videos.